This is T.I. Oceania, one of the largest moving objects ever built by human hands. A ship so massive it doesn't sail on the ocean. It commands it. In the early 2000s, a new class of ships began taking shape in the sprawling dry docks of Daewoo Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering in South Korea. The world was hungry for oil, more than ever before. And nations needed vessels that could haul unimaginable volumes across the globe. Thus, in 2003, from the docks of Akpo, the Hellespont Fairfax was born, later renamed T.I. Oceania. At 380 meters long and 68 meters wide, she dwarfed most skyscrapers if turned upright. Fully loaded, she could carry 441,293 tons of crude oil, enough to power an entire nation for weeks. She wasn't alone. Three sister ships followed, TI Europe, TI Asia, and TI Africa, together forming the legendary TI-class super tankers. Their scale was so massive that maritime laws had to adapt. Even some ports were forced to redesign their terminals just to handle them. Inside TI Oceania lies the beating heart of a giant, a Salzer 9RTA84TD diesel engine, a single machine that weighs more than a Boeing 747. It generates 50,220 horsepower, turning a propeller almost 10 meters in diameter. When fully loaded, she moves at 16.5 knots, roughly 30 kilometers per hour. That may sound slow, but remember, this ship weighs half a million tons. Each second, her propeller displaces enough water to fill an Olympic swimming pool. Life aboard the TI Oceania is unlike any other job on Earth. Her crew, usually between 30 to 40 men, live months at sea, isolated from land, surrounded by nothing but horizon. The ship is a world within a world, a galley that runs 24 hours a day. Cabins stacked in the accommodation tower. The navigation bridge, high above, glowing with instruments, always manned by at least one officer. Below decks, the engine control room roars with the sound of pistons and turbines. Temperatures can reach over 45 degrees Celsius. The smell of diesel and metal never leaves. At night, when the wind dies and the sea turns to glass, the crew often step outside in silence. There's no city light, no sound, only the slow pulse of the ocean beneath them. In that moment, you understand why sailors once believed the sea itself was alive. TI Oceania was designed for one purpose, to move crude oil from where it's found to where it's needed. Her routes stretch thousands of miles, from Ras Tanura in Saudi Arabia to Rotterdam or Singapore, or Saldana Bay in South Africa. But few ports can handle her. With a draft of 24.5 meters, she can only dock at the deepest of terminals, or in some cases never dock at all. When ports are too shallow, she performs ship-to-ship -ship transfers offshore, where smaller vessels load portions of her cargo and carry them the rest of the way. In other missions, she's used as a floating storage and offloading unit, FSO, a stationary giant holding millions of barrels, waiting for markets to shift. Every voyage is a delicate balance of timing, tide, and human precision. Because when you're this big, even a small mistake can mean disaster. At sea, size doesn't mean safety, it means vulnerability. A storm that smaller ships can ride through effortlessly hits a tanker like this with unimaginable force. Each wave pounds her steel hull with the weight of mountains. And the strain doesn't stop there, and the ship itself flexes under stress. Her structure, though designed with double hulls and massive reinforcement beams, constantly fights the laws of physics. Compression, tension, torsion. The same invisible forces that once tore apart other super tankers, like the Amoco Cadiz and Torrey Canyon, always lurk beneath. Even her own weight can be her enemy. If her cargo isn't distributed properly, she can hog or sag, bending in the middle like a bow, threatening to crack her spine. Life aboard a massive oil tanker isn't glamorous. It's lonely, demanding, and at times frightening. Crews work in shifts, maintaining machinery, checking ballast tanks, inspecting valves, and ensuring that not a single drop of oil leaks. Every task is logged, monitored, verified. Because one mistake could cost million, or worse, spark an ecological disaster. The men rarely see their families. Sometimes they spend birthdays, holidays, and entire seasons surrounded by nothing but water. In heavy storms, they strap themselves to their bunks to avoid being thrown across the room. Yet they keep going because for them, the ocean isn't just danger, it's home. History has shown what happens when ships like this fail. The Torrey Canyon in 1967 shattered off the coast of Cornwall, spilling 120,000 tons of crude oil. The Amoco Cadiz in 1978 broke apart in a storm, 
coating 200 miles of French coastline in black sludge, and more recently the MT Prestige in 2002 split in half and sank off Spain, taking 77,000 tons of fuel oil with it. Each disaster changed maritime law. Each one forced engineers to rethink design, structure, and response. TI Oceania was born from those lessons, a fortress of steel built to survive the worst, but the sea remembers. And even today, as she cuts across the horizon, every crew member knows one truth. No matter how strong you build it, nature always decides the ending. Over two decades have passed since TI Oceania first touched the water. Others have been scrapped or converted into floating storage, but she still sails. From her massive engine room to the bridge high above the waves, every part of her hums with human effort, proof that engineering, at its greatest, is both triumph and gamble. To stand on her deck is to feel history, the same ocean that swallowed galleons, steamers, and submarines. Beneath your feet lies not just steel, but ambition, the ambition to dominate nature and the humility to know you never truly can. Some say ships have souls. If that's true, then T.I. Oceania's soul is forged from iron, oil, and salt. She's seen the calmest dawns and the darkest storms, watched continents rise on her radar and fade behind her stern. She represents everything humanity stands for at sea, invention, greed, courage, and awe. And though countless ships have come and gone, T.I. Oceania still glides quietly across the horizon, the last great titan of an age that's slowly fading away.